Well, several other schools in our area are also taking a stand today. One school in Delaware County didn't walk out. Instead, they rallied. Eyewitness News reporter Matt Petrillo explains. Stop the murders of America's next generation. America's For the second time in as many months, Haverford High students gathered outside school today saying they've had enough with kids their age dying from gun violence. One poster asking, are we next? We really need to like change this now before like it happens to other schools and that's why we're out here. It's important to keep the momentum going. Many schools demonstrated at 10 a.m., but Haverford's protest was held at 7 this morning, a half hour before school started. Students say administrators did didn't want them to disrupt the school day. We compromised with them. We're trying to work with students so that they can see that, yeah, there are opportunities for their voices to be heard. The Haverford School District is already taking action. Last night, its school board began to draft a letter telling the state it's not in favor of teachers carrying weapons in schools. Still, students say more needs to be done on the state and federal levels. These students are our nation's future and our government is letting them die. This poster encourages students to get their hands dirty by signing it with a fingerprint and pledging to do something in a call for tighter gun control. They can't just uh, go out to march uh, and get out of class, but rather they need to contact their local government. And students say they will continue rallying until they see change. In Haverford, Matt Petrillo, CBS3 Eyewitness News.